Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadsRoof.com and today we are going to do a video around the Lenovo A7000 which we have with us. I'm testing this device for the last 3 to 4 days and I'm pretty happy with the overall performance this device has given to me and the battery backup as well. But in this video, we are not only going to talk about the good things of Lenovo A7000 but we are also going to tell you what all not so good things or maybe the bad things as per you which you might consider before buying Lenovo A7000 from the market or from any place you can actually buy it. So let's start this video with the good points and later on we will discuss the bad points or not so good points of Lenovo A7000. Now the first good feature of the Lenovo A7000 for which you should consider this phone when you plan to buy it is going to be the display size. So you are getting a bigger display size which is 5.5 inch and this is one of the good thing about this Lenovo A7000 which might make you buy this phone and not only the display size is good it is also the display clarity. So display clarity is also good it is an IPS LCD display which does give you pretty good viewing angles and the color production is also nice. Display clarity is also good it is a 720p display so display pixel density is also not bad so you can actually buy this phone on the basis of this point. Second thing which we are going to talk about about this phone is going to be the 4G connectivity. So you have 4G connectivity supported on this device which is again a good reason to buy this phone in case you plan to use 4G later on you can actually use the same phone you don't have to buy the phone at that point of time this is this phone is 4G ready. Talking about one more thing which is a good point of Lenovo A7000 is the Android Lollipop because this device is coming with Android Lollipop preloaded so you don't need to think about the Android Lollipop update when you buy this phone as compared to some other phones out there which are not coming with Android Lollipop so it is having Android Lollipop 5.0 which is again a good thing when it comes to another reason for which you may want to select this phone Considering this is a budget phone, you are also getting 8 GB of internal storage and out of that approximately 3.5 to 4 GB is something which is available to the user which is definitely a good thing and in case storage is an issue for you, you have the option of installing applications on the SD card. So once you insert an SD card, you can actually install applications on the SD card as well on this phone which is also a good reason to buy this phone. Talking about the camera performance, the device has an 8 megapixel camera at the back which is kind of less as compared to some of the cameras which some of the devices which have 13 megapixel camera so this 8 megapixel camera is pretty decent in terms of the quality you can get in low light as well as in daylight you can get better photos you also have dual LED flash which is also a good reason to buy this phone so camera performance is good even when it is an 8 megapixel camera the kind of camera performance you get on this device is good enough let's talk about one more feature which is related to the loudspeaker so this is the first phone which is having the Dolby Atmos sound which is a better quality of sound you will hear from the loudspeaker and the loudspeaker is fairly loud on this phone and slightly louder than some other phones out there in the same price segment so this is also a good reason to buy this phone let's talk about few more things which is going to be related to the custom UI so in case custom UI is something which you like then you can always go for this phone because this phone gives you the custom UI which is responsive and fluid as per the overall configuration this device has another good reason for which you may you may want to buy this phone is going to be the 2 GB of RAM so this device has 2 GB of RAM which is again making this one pretty responsive and useful at times in day to day usage I do not notice any major issues with the device the overall usage of the RAM is very much optimized with the custom UI and Lenovo has worked on that we have 1.2 GB of RAM even we have installed applications and games and the overall amount of RAM which you get on the first boot is approximately 1.5 GB out of 2 GB so which is also a good thing now let's talk about some of the not so good things we have already talk, talked about a lot of uh, good things of this device let's talk about some of the bad things which is going to be the first the custom UI 
the custom UI which is running on top of Android actually takes up some amount of space because of which the available amount of storage is not that much. So if you take a look over the occupied OS space it is 3.13 GB and some part of that is actually because of the custom UI as well which is running on top of Android and this custom UI is also not all the time responsive but uh, it can get laggy at times however the lag is something which you will see on other android phones as well in this price segment but uh, this custom ui does give you the kind of lag which you may not experience when you have stock android lollipop but that's how it is talking about some more things talking about the front camera quality the front camera quality is good but not great i would have liked if it was better in low light in low light it was good enough i would say but not the best i have actually seen on some of the devices the build quality of the device is again plastic we have got a plastic back cover which is again kind of very thin in terms of the plastic quality which is also a bad point i would say and again this is a budget phone but this is the quality of plastic they have given on the back cover which is again not too great in terms of the overall form factor the device feels good but the back cover is kind of loose so it can actually come out as well in case you drop the device which is uh, which may be a problem for some people out there so these were some of the bad things the overall battery backup on this device is good enough i would say it can give you around more than one day of battery backup which is definitely a good point for this phone which is actually not a bad point and another good point is going to be the battery which is removable so it has a removable battery as compared to some of the phones out there which does not have a removable battery. So these were all the good things and the bad things or not so good things of the Lenovo A7000 which you may like to consider before you plan to buy Lenovo A7000 from the market. So in case you have any queries or questions related to this video you can leave your questions in the comment section below this video over there. You can also like this video. This video help you by clicking the like button below this video over there. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.